This is my project to convert a toy radio control car to work with Wi-Fi and the camera from an ESP32 cam. The normal radio control transmitter is replaced with a system using a mobile phone and Wi-Fi. Steering left. Steering right. Moving forwards. Here you can see how the interface on the mobile phone controls the car. With the camera mounted on the front of the car, you can also see where the car is going on the mobile phone. It actually works quite well in practice. The controller isn't quite as responsive as a radio controller, but it's pretty close. The roof where I'm testing this is very uneven so you can see the car is jumping around quite a lot. The components used in this build are an ESP32 cam a voltage step down, motor controller, a servo motor and two limit switches. Inside the car looks like this. Here's the ESP32 cam. These two wires are normally connected to the power here. The here's dodgy Wi-Fi aerial. Looking at the insides, steering motor, drive motor, this is the motor controller, controlled by PWM from here. Here's the servo motor, which takes a PWM signal from here. Here's the voltage step down, and here are the two limit switches, which control the steering. Here's a closer look at how I used the servo motor to push the limit switches. Here's the wiring diagram. You can see this more clearly on my blog in the link below. So a quick run through of the code. You need to install a couple of libraries. The Arduino WebSockets library is easy. Just go to manage libraries, search for it and install it. Installing the ESP async web server is a bit more complicated. You have to download this zip file from GitHub. Create a new folder ESP async web server in documents Arduino libraries and unzip the contents to this new folder. This is the variable that holds the code for the interface on the mobile phone. These are the PWM pins for turning and forward motion. This function passes the incoming data from the interface the date each message is split into two parts by a comma. The first part is the steering value and the second part is the forward value. If the steering value is greater than 5 the car turns right, the steering value is less than minus 5 the car turns left, otherwise the car will go in a straight line. The forward value is the value that comes from the interface for moving forward. It's between 0 and 90 and this function maps it to values between 500 and 2000. In the loop we're running handle message which I've just described and also when the client is available, in other words the mobile phone is connected, the camera data is sent to the mobile phone. This project is popular, I'll work on a simpler version with a 3D printed chassis with servo control for steering and forward reverse.